Hey everyone, Canadian Gate Rick, but you guys with a fan favorite Pokemon build. Now this one actually wasn't requested, and why I say fan favorite is because this Pokemon is taking Pokemon Sun and Moon Battle Spot by storm. Today we will be talking about the Pokemon Ash Greninja. So Ash Greninja is a very interesting Pokemon with a brand new ability introduced this generation. If you guys got the demo or ever played the demo, then you will get this Pokemon. If you haven't played the demo or didn't get the demo, then yikes. You might want to get your hands on this Pokemon. Now, I would say you run Timid. I mean, not Timid. Run Jolly or Adamant. But due to the fact that your nature is completely random and as soon as you transfer it over, I believe you cannot like uh, soft reset to get different natures. So whatever you get, you're going to have to do this. Okay, so it has 72 base HP, 145 attack, 67 defense, 153 special attack, 71 special defense, and 132 speed. So you guys are probably wondering why off to the right of the screen I say max attack. Well, this Pokemon gets so many good... Uh, physical moves because of its ability so now what battle bond does is it transforms after it KOs a pokemon and when it KOs a pokemon it then transforms into ash's greninja it starts off as basic greninja then turns into ash's greninja which gives it a slight boost in its stats not a huge one but it's still significant and then it gives it uh a powered up water shuriken if you guys don't remember water shuriken is a first turn water move that you know hits two to five times and that that's probably like oh woo but it also gets access to night slash which if you max out its speed it does outspeed alolan raichu yes it outspeeds alolan raichu which is nuts so i recommend 252 in the attack stat 252 in the speed stat and then six in special defense you could put it in defense hp Whatever, you do have slightly better special defense than defense, so that's why I put the little bit of bulk in there, because you never know. As for our water moves, or water moves, our move pool, we have Water Shuriken. I believe that's actually spelt wrong on my screen. I don't know why my computer kept auto-correcting to that. I believe it has an E instead of, a, instead of an A, but you guys know that, right? As Night Slash, which takes down the Alolan Raichu, you turn to get out of there, and then you can run Aerial Ace or Rock Slide, depending on what Pokemon you see more of, pretty much. Right now, the tiers are all messed up. I'm pretty sure Ash's Greninja might be banned. I don't know if it'll necessarily be banned, due to the fact that it doesn't have protein, so it stays Water Dark. That's why I recommend you run Night Slash and Water Shuriken. You could also run Waterfall and stuff, but... I guess you could run that too instead of Aerialized Rock Slider U-Turn. I just use U-Turn to get out of there. Uh, as for items, I recommend you run Expert Belt or Life Orb. Expert Belt does 1.2 times damage uh, when using a super effective move. I run that on my Celestila, and it does really good, you know? Like if you hit a wa uh, Rock type with your Water Shuriken, or you hit a Psychic type with Night Slash, you're automatically going to do a ton. And then Life Orb, but well, once again, it's a boost to all your attacks anyway, though you do lose HP. Which, which honestly does suck. Uh, and as for Ash's Greninja, I forgot to put the typings on here, but it does say, um, Water Dark type. As you guys may have known since you played with X and Y, which was, what, two, three years ago now? Like, man, Oris was out forever. So anyways... And tell me what you guys think of this build. Leave a comment in the comment section below what you think, what you would run, what you would do better, and, you know, all that good stuff. If you guys want to win any of the contests, leave a comment in the comment section below as well. Remember to like this video, share it with all your friends, get those views up there. If we can get to 10 likes, you guys are the best. And I will see you guys next time, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.